Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. So I wanted to follow up on my last video that I posted, which was about Kuk, Kukian, Kuk, whatever his last name is. Kukian, cocaine, whatever. I got his stuff and I put a review on it and I put it on my eyes and I swatched it, but everyone in that, like under that video has left comments about how I didn't show the swatches um, on camera and the reason why I couldn't show like my hand being like this and taking something out and with a brush, it's literally because I don't have the setup for it. Right now, let me show you where you're set. It's literally a T like, with like a box under it and then my camera is like sitting like this. So if I'm able to, whoa, see, and it like tips over if it like goes too over the side or anything like that. So ignore this setup, it's really jank and gross, but I just wanted to put something up that was uncut, unedited, everything is real time. You're gonna see me like swatch it, you're gonna see me wipe my hand with a makeup wipe so there's no primer on it, and then I'm gonna dry it off with this so it's dry, so there's no like dragging or anything or like saying like, oh, your hand is wet, that's why it's like affecting the swatches. Um, I don't have like multiples of the same brush, I don't have three. So these are gonna be like the blending brushes that I'm gonna be blending out stuff with. And this is the only like legit shader brush that I have. I got it on a BoxyCharm from Bodygraph Pro. As you can see, like it hasn't been used. So the only thing is because it's white and because it's the only thing that I have, it's probably gonna get stained, but I'm gonna try to like wipe it off as much as I can to show you that there's literally nothing on this. And I'm not doing this because he's paying me, which is apparently like a thing now of him paying me. I don't know him. I don't follow him. You can go and see all the people that I'm subscribed to. I don't watch his stuff. The only reason why I knew about him having a cosmetic line is because people that I do watch, I read their comments. And people in those comments were saying, hey, could you do a video of Kukian, Cocaine, whatever his name is, um could you do a video on his cosmetic line because he just released stuff? I don't know when his stuff came out. Like, I legit don't. I just know that there was people under, like, Rich Lux's stuff and, like, Rach Love stuff and Tati stuff. There's, like, people who are talking about it in their comment section. So me being, like, the person that's trying to grow their YouTube channel and wants more things to try out often, I was like, hey, no one is doing this review. Well, now I know why no one is doing it. No one is doing it, so why don't I do it? And this is literally the only thing I was able to get my hands on. Everything else was sold out. I don't know why, but people seem to think that like you can't buy it anymore or that it's sold out. The video that I did yesterday, the link that I put in the description box, still had stuff available. So if you're not able to like add it to your cart, I don't know why because, I mean... I can show you on my computer that you're still able to add it and it's been like that since the day that I placed my order. So I genuinely don't know how else to explain that, but I'm just doing this so the integrity of my channel doesn't go down, so people don't think I'm being honest, so people like so people don't think that I'm being dishonest and people don't discredit the things that I do when I do them. So these are the things this is how it came I showed you guys they're like stained and gross because of the swatches that I did in that video and this is how they came I don't have my box anymore to show you that it said that it was shipped from Georgia so if you don't think that it was shipped from Georgia and it was shipped from the People's Republic of China I don't know how else to prove that to you because the box is gone so anyways I'm gonna take makeup wipes I'm sorry if this video is disgustingly long. It's just there's, I'm not going to like sit there and, you know. But then I'm going to take this. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to blow on my hand so it dries. And again, like I'm so sorry that my voice is gross. But yeah. So let's start with Salvage. That's the one that I put on my eyes. And this is how it comes. So the sticker is out front. And then the, oh my God, the pan of eyeshadow is inside. 
it pops out super easy like like that there's no name on the back it's just literally only on the front and there's eyeshadow all in the back so I'm gonna wipe my hands off because there's eyeshadow on them now so I'm gonna take my brush and just so you know I'm gonna do this bit so there's nothing on it and I'm just gonna two three do that and then I'm just gonna blend it like that and that's like how it is when it's all blended out and everything that's just like going in three times not tapping it off with like a blending brush so I'm gonna put this aside now so I'm not gonna use it and then I'm gonna go in with the shader brush and I'm gonna go up to down and I'm not gonna press firmly so I'm just gonna go up to down and here it is with the brush the one that I the thing that I used to put it on my eyes was a sponge applicator so hold on one second I'm gonna go get a sponge applicator <sighs> So these are the sponge applicators I'll be using. They're from the Up and Up brand. They're white, so you know there's nothing else is on them. So again, we're gonna go up to down. This is so hard. So this was the blending brush, that was the shader brush. This is with a makeup sponge. And then I'm gonna take my finger and, oh my God, I'm so out of breath. <sighs> and I'm gonna go clockwise, counterclockwise, one time, not pressing hard. So counterclockwise. And this is the finger swatch. I'll do it again with like a clean finger. So you can see if you think I put too much pressure on my hand, counterclockwise like that that is chalky that is very clearly chalky as you can see however if you're putting something on your eyeball I'm pretty sure you're not gonna go through it in like a gentle hand you might you might not I don't know I wouldn't use this with my finger per se I would use it with the sponge applicator so that's my opinion of the shade salvage that's how it is we're gonna wipe it off I don't necessarily care like if you know if people like don't like him that's totally their right and their like prerogative it it like I don't get affected by it if someone's like I don't like Jeffree Star that never offends me like or who else I don't really like care about him either who do I like that um like Kathleen Lights. If someone's like, I don't like Kathleen Lights, just because I like her, it doesn't offend me that you don't like her. However, it does, it will offend me if like I buy some of her stuff and I'm like trying it out. I'm like, oh, I really like this shade. And someone's like, well, you only like that shade because it's Kathleen Lights. Like I said, I don't know him. So it's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. So let's take the shade Titties. Oh, I hate that name so much. So, see, like, there's no name on the back or anything. So, I'm going to take my fluffy brush. Oh, sorry. One, two, three. There's kick up. A lot of kick up, as you can see. And then we're going to blend it. And that's, what was that? Titties. That's that. As you can see, there's like a lot of dusting around the thing. Like there's a ring of dust. So I'm gonna blow that away. <sighs> All right. So then we're gonna take this. As you can see, it's like stained, but I'm gonna take the other side and 
I'm going to go up, down, that's with the brush. Then we're going to take a clean shader brush and again we're going to go up, down, and there's that with the sponge applicator, one time swiped. I'm going to take my finger, that's also stained from the purple, so let me try to get off as much as I can. We're going to go clockwise to counterclockwise. There's that. And then one more time with my middle finger. I didn't mean to flick you off. So we're going to go clockwise to counterclockwise. And there's that swatch. So I'm going to take this off. This is the one that I used for that. So I'm gonna go with this and we're gonna go and look at Shook. So I'm gonna throw this off to the side. Make sure my... It's clean. All right, so again, Shook. This is the inside. There's nothing on the back. I'm gonna take this. One, two, three. And there's that. I'm gonna wipe off this shader brush. This is really ineffective. <laughs> I should just get a color switch. Okay. So I wiped off as much as I could. There's nothing coming off of it anymore. <clears throat> oh! Okay, so we're gonna go up down there's that with a brush now we're going to take a clean sponge applicator we're going to go up down that's with the sponge applicator my pointer finger going oh my god it just fell and it's like shattered on the side. So great, you see that, it made a dent. I have ceramic floors in the kitchen. So we're gonna go clockwise, counterclockwise. There's that. And then one more time from the middle finger, clockwise to counterclockwise. There's that. So, I mean, I don't know how to else to do like swatches. <laughs> Um, other than this, the orange one does stain the most out of all of them. I noticed that the other night when I was trying to take swatches off of my hand. But, yeah, like, this is the only way that I know how to do swatch videos for the first time that it's been, like, done on my channel. Um, now that I know, he has a lot of crazy, like, actual crazy, like, rape allegations and charity fraud stuff behind his name, I'm not gonna support his cosmetics. I did not know that because Rich Lux doesn't talk about it. And I'm subscribed to Sanders Kennedy, but I skip his his like videos and stuff like that because he doesn't post as often and I feel like when he does post, it's not stuff that I'm interested about according to what the title says. So I sp skip over his stuff. This is my swatch video raw, uncut, unedited. It's going straight to YouTube from now. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this cleared some things up, made you look at things from my perspective of like, I'm not trying to be shady or scammy. He doesn't pay me. He didn't send this to me for free. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.